Come set your rule and reign In our hearts again Increase in us we pray Unveil why we're made Come set our hearts ablaze With hope like wildfire in our very souls Holy Spirit come invade us now And we are your church And we need your power in us And we seek your kingdom first We hunger and we thirst Refuse to waste our lives For your our joy and prize To see the captives' hearts release The hurt, the sick, the poor At peace we lay down our lives For heaven's cause And we are your church and we pray, revive this earth. Build your kingdom here. Let the darkness fear. Show your mighty hands. Heal our streets and land. Set your church on fire. Win this nation back. Change the atmosphere Build your kingdom here We pray Unleash your kingdom's power Reaching the near and far No force of hell can stop Your beauty changing hearts you made us for much more than this Awake the kingdom seed in us Fill us with the strength and love of Christ And we are the church And we pray revive this earth Build your kingdom here let the darkness fear Show your mighty hands Heal our streets and land Set your church on fire Win this nation back Change the atmosphere Build your kingdom here Build your kingdom here let the darkness fear Show your mighty hands Heal our streets and land Set your church on fire Win this nation back Change the atmosphere Build your kingdom here We pray Amen. God is awesome, amen. He's alive in us. You guys can dance, you guys can shout. You're free today. I was lost with a broken heart You picked me up, now I'm set apart From the ash I am born again Forever safe in the Savior's hands And you are more than my words can say I follow you, Lord, for all my days Fix my eyes, follow in your ways Forever free in unending grace 
Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom We live to higher, live to higher You love, you love, you love never ending And oh, oh, oh You are alive in us Nothing can take your place And you are all we need Your love has set us free And so In the midst of the darkest night Let your love be the shining light Breaking chains that were holding me You sent your son down and set me free Everything of this world will fade I'm pressing on till I see your face And I will live that your will be done And I won't stop till your kingdom come for you are, you are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, lift you higher Your love, your love, your love never ending Oh, oh, oh You are alive in us Nothing can take your place And you are all we need Your love has set us free You are alive, you are alive in Nothing can take your place And you are all we need Your love has set us free And oh, oh, oh. You are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, lift you higher Your love, your love, your love never ending Oh, oh, oh You are, and you are, you are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, lift you higher You love, your love, your love never ending Oh, oh, oh Nothing can take your place And you are all we need Your love has set us free You are alive, you are alive in us Nothing can take your place And you are all we need Your love has set us free Amen. He's alive. He's good. He's worthy. He's here. Love, I love getting to sing truth day after day after day after day after day. The beauty of truth is that sometimes, sometimes we may not be able to capture how powerful and how meaningful it is for our life right now. But I love the idea and the fact that in Jesus' love, we were set free. The whole, the whole essence of, of Jesus' life was that a new kingdom would come to the earth and it would show up in the person of Jesus. And this new kingdom, this new reign would actually allow people created by the creator in his very image, male, female alike, to carry the love of God into the earth that all people might know how wonderfully and beautifully made they truly are. That there's a love that they've never had until they know that love in Jesus. That there's a name that created them, that created them in love. That there's a new kingdom that people can come into where freedom to be who, exactly who you are, who you were created to be, you have permission for that and that comes from God himself. The place of identity. We get to find that out when we find out who God is. The beauty of this new love is that Jesus has set us free. It's a beautiful gospel. It's a beautiful kingdom. And this morning as we continue to celebrate God and 
welcome his presence here. We say, we want to hear from him. Man, I don't know about you. I don't know what you came to hear today, but I came to hear from God. I came to celebrate this beautiful family that we get to be a part of. Each of you, precious to God. So precious, so precious that he would give the life of his only son who would take our place perfect as he was that in our imperfections we could be made sons and daughters. Oh man, this is a beautiful witness. So this morning as we celebrate Jesus, I want to welcome you to celebrate him, to thank him, to worship him, to praise him. And if you don't know what he's like, then even this morning I just ask you to ask the question. Will you ask this? God, show me what you're like. God, show me what you're like. So Father, we just welcome you. Holy Spirit, speak to us, counsel us. Father, thank you that this, this message and this truth of Jesus is not just good for me, but it's good for all peoples throughout all history, throughout every nation. Throughout every nation, God, you have called people to yourself that they would bear witness to the goodness of an all-loving Father. Oh God, we celebrate you this morning and we worship you. And we thank you for freedom we have in your love in Jesus' name.
Jesus, you, you worth it all. Every nation and every soul, Jesus, you. We're going to continue to worship, but I just feel, I actually feel very much like, I feel like there's people in here who, who've had uh, nations in their heart. Uh, and a lot of you know my story, but, but I feel like some of you in here have had just a love for nations. You know it's there. Maybe you've had a love for nations. Maybe you even felt at one point you were called by God into the nations. U.S. is a nation. It's a calling. Just make sure we're clear. We're all called. We're all chosen people, a royal priesthood. But, but I want to just specifically take this moment. And, and if you've ever had, maybe you've had a call by God, you felt passionate about a nation or a people group. And maybe that thing kind of went away. Maybe fear took it. Maybe you just didn't know what to do with it. Maybe this morning you're singing about the nations and your heart's just shaking. I just ask you to just raise your hand if that's you this morning. If you just had this sense of nations, people groups in your heart, whether it's been in the past and haven't been able to step into that, maybe you're, you're actually in it, but you just, just want to honor the Lord in this moment, just raise your hand. Just raise them up high. Here, here's what I want to do. I want to just ask, this is the way we do family here. Okay, I want everyone to hold your hands up. Keep your hands up. I want... Everyone will just look around. Look around you. Everyone's a part of this new kingdom. Everyone has a place. Everyone has a place. And so if you're around someone with a hand up, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm not going to ask anyone to come up. I'm going to ask you to go and surround these people. And I'm just going to ask a couple people, just pray. Pray over the people with their hands up, all right? So as a family, I just right now release you. We're going to continue to worship. But a couple people, just surround the, the family. Look around because... We're being sent out into different places and people. So just go around the people, a couple people surround them. The way we do it, we just put a hand on you if this is newer to you. It's just to pray with you. It's to agree that hearing from God for the nations is good. And it may be different for different people. Maybe it's a long-term call. Maybe it's you just need to go. You need to take a, a, a trip. You need to get out. So for those, if you, if, if you, especially if you know the heart of the Father this morning, I want you to look around, and if you're not, connected to anyone. I want you to find someone. This is your commission this morning. This is your task as a royal priesthood. You are commissioned to pray. You are commissioned to pray. Let's continue to worship and just pray into their lives. Pray into the Father's heart for their lives. You may not know them. It's okay. God's adopted a massive family. Jesus was the firstborn among many brothers. <laughs> so let's just pray and sow in faith and let's continue to worship. This one thing I ask This one thing I seek To dwell within your house Every day of my life This one thing I ask This one thing I seek To gaze upon your beauty 
in this holy place and you are the one thing you are the one thing that I need you are the one thing You are the one thing that I need And this one thing I ask This one thing I seek To dwell within your house Every day of my life And this one thing I ask And this one thing I seek to gaze upon your beauty in this holy place and you are the one thing you are the one thing that I need you are the one thing You are the one thing that I need. You are, oh, you are the one thing. You are the one thing that I need. You are the one thing. You are the one thing that I need. And you give me eyes to see, eyes to see you You give me ears to hear, ears to hear you You give me a heart to know, a heart to know you I wanna know you more, wanna know you more Give me eyes to see, eyes to see you. You give me ears to hear, ears to hear you. You give me a heart to know, a heart to know you. I wanna know you more. You are, and you are the one thing. the one thing that I need Yes, you are, Lord You are the one thing You are the one thing that I need You are You are the one thing You are the one thing that I need You give me eyes to see, eyes to see you. You give me ears to hear, ears to hear you. You give me a heart to know, heart to know you. I wanna know you more. You give 
give me eyes to see, eyes to see you. You give me ears to hear, ears to hear you. You give me a heart to know, a heart to know you. I want to know. What an honor to be in the presence of God this morning. Jesus, we thank you for your kindness and your gentleness and your power, your love, the promise that we would hear from you, that we could know your voice, that we could know your voice and know your heart. Oh God, we're so privileged and honored this morning that you would be here with us. And so, Lord, we ask that you would continue to speak this morning. I know sometimes, God, we can come into this place. We may not even understand why we've come in on a Sunday morning, and, and you're okay with that. <laughs> but I just say, God, this morning, may you be clear who you are this morning. God, we want to hear clearly who you are. Amidst all the noise and the the loudness of our lives at times, it can be so challenging for us just to hear you and to know you. And so in the name of Jesus, Father, speak. I say, God, I'm listening. At all costs, I'm listening, God. Whatever the cost is, I want to hear from you, God. I'll put it all before you, Lord. I don't know what it is that you show me, God. Show us what it is to put it all before you and to lay it down for the sake of getting to know you. You're worth it. You're worth it. And you said it was worth it to give your life for us that we would know you. So this morning, we celebrate you and your goodness. Oh, it's a good day to be with you, Lord. And it's in Jesus that we've come, and in Jesus we'll remain, and in Jesus' name, everyone prayed. Amen, amen, amen.